In this video, I'm going to show you another example of finding the area between two curves. Find the area of the region between the graphs of f of x equals 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x and g of x is equal to negative x squared plus 2x. Let's start with g of x. Um, overall, my initial intention here is to sketch these two graphs, see which curve is on top, which curve is on bottom, so I can set up the appropriate definite integral to find the area between these two curves. So to do that would be to, let's think of g of x as y. y is equal to negative x squared plus 2x. Let's factor out a negative x. And let's set uh, each factor equal to 0 to get the x-intercepts. In the first case, we get x equals 0. And in the second case, we get x equals 2. We also know from a uh, pre-calculus or an Algebra 2 course that when you're graphing a quadratic, you're going to get a parabola. But this one is, is preceded by a negative, so it's going to be an upside-down parabola. Okay, let's go ahead and sketch that. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and we'll try to sketch the other cubic function. I'm going to start by taking out an x as it is common to all the terms. And I'll continue the factoring process. I'll set each factor equal to 0 to get the x-intercepts. x equals 0, then x equals negative 5 thirds, and x equals 2. You might notice that two of the x-intercepts here are the same as for the parabola. Now, from pre-calculus, this is a polynomial function and its dominant term is 3x cubed, which suggests an end behavior that is odd positive. So we know at the end, this graph is going to look like this. This is the graph of a function that's odd positive, this guy right here. So putting that into play with these x-intercepts, we're going to get something that looks like this. Now, our objective is to find the region between the two curves. Let me identify that region with green. And the second region with purple. So in this problem, something interesting has happened. There are two regions that are formed. And in each of the regions, there's a different top curve and a different bottom curve. So it's very important to realize which curve is on top and which curve is on bottom. It's also going to require that we set up two separate integrals to figure out each area separately and then add the results together. So first, let's realize that on the uh, region to the right, let's call this actually region sub 1. We'll call this Roman numeral 1, and then over here, we'll call this Roman numeral 2. So over here, the blue is on top, and the red is on the bottom. But over here, the red is on the top, and the blue is on the bottom. Okay, now anticipating setting up the definite integral, we're going to need to know what the upper and lower limits of integration are. In other words, we're going to need to know this point here, this point here, and this point here. Well, we already know that this is x equals 2, and we already know that this is x equals 0, but we don't know what this is over here. In the last video, I reminded you that to find where two graphs cross each other, you set the two graphs equal to each other. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to say that if this equals y and that equals y, then they equal each other. In other words, 3x cubed minus x squared plus 10x is equal to negative x squared plus 2x. I notice that negative x squared is on both sides, so that's going to be eliminated. And we end up with 3x cubed minus 12x equals 0. Factoring, we get, factoring again, we get, setting each factor equal to 0 gives us the specific points of intersection. Now, we already had 0 and 2 accounted for, but it's this third one that we didn't know, x equals negative 2. So that's what this guy is right here. Now that I've figured out the upper and lower limits of integration, I'm going to be able to set up the specific integrals. 
I'm going to need a little bit of room to do that, so I'm going to get rid of uh, some of the work that I've just shown. Let's first focus on the area of region 1. The area of region 1 is going to be found by setting up a definite integral from negative 2 to 0, because it starts here at negative 2, and it ends here at 0, and it's going to be the top curve minus the bottom curve. The top curve is the blue curve, or 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x, minus the bottom curve, which is the red curve. Now, I forgot to do this, but if we had put, it, put in our representative rectangles, those are the rectangles that connect the top and the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in. Because each of those representative rectangles are perpendicular to the x-axis, we know that these are going to be dx problems. Now this is only part one. We also have to get this region over here. So that's going to be the area of region two. So I'm going to set up another definite integral. This time it's going to go from zero to two. And it's going to be top minus bottom again, but this time the roles have changed. So the top is now the red curve minus the bottom, which is the blue curve. Now, you could evaluate these two definite integrals by hand and get the answer, or you could use your calculator to set it up as uh, I have shown you in the last two videos. So the point of this example was to show you that there could be multiple regions in the way that the two graphs intersect, and in this case there were two separate regions. And the other thing to keep in mind is uh, finding those limits of integration require that you sometimes set the two functions equal to each other.